A 59-year-old woman was admitted for jaundice and moderate epigastric pain. Abdominal ultrasonography showed a suspicious mass within the head of the pancreas. Linear endoscopic ultrasound, EUS, was performed for detailed visualization of the pancreas. EUS revealed a hypoechoic inhomogeneous mass 2 cm in diameter at the level of the pancreatic head, poorly defined and obstructing the pancreatic duct and bile duct. Grayscale examinations are followed by color Doppler and power Doppler examinations, which show collateral vessels, but almost no Doppler signals inside the mass. The mass is adjacent to the mesenteric confluence and splenic vessels, but does not infiltrate them or the celiac trunk. EUS also shows multiple lymph nodes, round oval, hypoechoic, up to 1.5 cm in diameter, located in the peripancreatic area. Then we performed low mechanical index contrast enhanced endoscopic ultrasound. After injection of the contrast agent, 4.8 mm Sonoview, we observe enhancement of the peritumoral tissues with a hypoenhanced appearance, discrete uptake of the contrast, at the level of the pancreatic mass in the early arterial phase and the late venous phase. EUS elastography shows a hard mass as compared with adjacent tissues, suggestive of a malignant tumor mass. Because differential diagnosis between benign and malignant focal pancreatic masses, based on the EUS appearance, is difficult, we continued the examination with EUS-guided fine needle aspiration for confirmation of malignancy. We performed three passes followed by cytology exam of the slides indicating a clear-cut diagnosis of pancreatic adenocarcinoma. We thus demonstrated the usefulness of diagnosing a small pancreatic cancer using EUS, contrast enhancement, real-time sonoelastography, and EUS-guided fine needle aspiration, FNA, which allowed surgery and post-operative staging. This is a picture of the postoperative tumor, which was staged as PT3N1M0.